How's it going, everybody? My name is Zwadi, and welcome back to another Life is Strange episode. I have doubts about this place just because I am very suspicious. Oh, this is a week later, so maybe we're still cooling, I guess. But there's still time for anything to go wrong. Oh, man. I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm way too hungry. Get dressed before you go, dude. Claire thinks breakfast is like a job interview. All right, let's go eat some breakfast. Sean, finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay. That train really takes up like a whole room, huh? So I just, I'm just trying to eat. Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bad. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa showed me a pop star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Me too. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But... The engine broke down. Yep. Has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> That's kind of cringy, not gonna lie. Oh, wow, that really sugar. broke, bro. <laughs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. As usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe. Unlike the big city. I get it. Feels. I like it. It's cool. Keyword. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We what try we... to lend a hand. Like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh. Cool. Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. You're being risky. Crazy? Hey, what's going on back there? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> I thought Steven was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. <sighs> I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning then? Because there's a Ooh. lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? Bruh, just say, it's my house. What you mean? Like, <laughs> Daniel, language. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Yeah, we're gonna have a talkin' with him. Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. It's just a room now, Sean. 
nothing to see. Mm. Why lock it then? Boom. It feels like I'm not trying to I'm not trying to get kicked There's out no or secret. nothing. I'm just saying. I'm just we asking. Just want to move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. It's cool. I don't care. She left us anyway. Yes, Sean. She left all of us. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof. Yeah, yeah, I know okay? that. Of course. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. Before he gets eaten by a mountain lion. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Steven has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. Hmm. I think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cup? Yeah, yeah, I got you, old man. Don't Whoa. worry about it. Uh, careful. Sorry, I've, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Uh, sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. What are we talking about? Let's see. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things. Like with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I'm hiding the secret. Um. Uh... Not really. What things? Well, I, I'm not sure how to put it. Like, some kind of oh, invisible crap. force. Like the holy gift or something. Um, yeah. Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Okay. But be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. Sure. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is... Maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Why not? I don't know, man. I don't know what to say! Maybe we could, but... <sighs> Why not? I know being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but... This is your home now. <laughs> it's cool. Kind of different, but... Something's obviously gonna happen. There's three other episodes. We're not gonna be staying don't want in you to get into trouble because episodes. of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But. Don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. Get 
It's good to see you in. Ah, oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey, <laughs> I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how no. to work a washing machine? <laughs> nope. Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you! Uh, no! I'm busy! B busy my ass! Come over here! So, I guess this episode is going to be cleaning with Sean and his body. And Daniel, I guess. Is I know the you're in there. Gotcha. What the? Behind you! Yeah. Very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Right? Thanks, Sean. Heck no, why would I do that? <laughs> All right. Time to take care of that laundry. <sighs> Thanks, Claire. No, I don't wanna As look always with already. Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. How many programs does this thing have? Okay. It will do. Right, so we got the laundry going now. What else do we gotta do? Go outside to check the garden shed. <laughs> okay. Time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! We're gonna go training Man, again. Finally, feels so good to be outside. Reminds me of the cabin, right? Oh, oh! Shh. <sighs> this dude's gonna get us caught. Get ready for storage wars. <gasps> What's wrong? Things frozen. <sighs> frozen shut. <sighs> of course. Was oh, that the captain? Sean. Whatever. Oh, snap. It did help him. We just got here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. Oh, uh, mm, oh, nice. oh, okay. I just fell down into the snow. Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. That t-shirt is wicked. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Uh, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Um, yeah. Uh, but not for long. We're just passing by. 
I see. Oh, jeez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I... Uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh... If Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. It's none of my sure. business. Uh, no problem. Cool. See you around then. Thanks, guys. See you later. Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? A little bit. Really? Kind of got to, bro. I know that would have only wanted to help. Yeah, but it's too but dangerous. It's not our place for both of us. <laughs> Whatever. Rules are boring. Yeah, but it'll be worse than boring if we get busted out here. Come on, Daniel. Steven already saw you using your powers. <laughs> Fine. I'll be careful. I'll never you though? anybody again. Okay, Daniel. Remember that we're hiding out, so no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time, okay? <laughs> oh, fuck. Are you that serious? Kid never Cause we just gotta get dressed and go over there again. We're gonna get over there and the whole house is like floating off the ground or something like that. Watch. Watch. Claire? Like I said, something always Steven. has to Steven! It's so definitely gonna be his fault. Anybody home? Well... I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Mm. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop. It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. Jeez. Steven went search crazy on us. <laughs> Look at this. These articles are almost a month old. What the hell is this? I had no idea Steven could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories crazy this is actually a good read because this is exactly what would happen in like real life if something like this were to happen risking our lives for what okay let's get this brack back home now steven and claire are gonna freak if they realize he went to the air why does daniel never listen maybe i'm doing it wrong Nah, bro, that's just how people are. Y'all are tripping. No! What's going on here? <gasps> Sean! Wait! Don't freak out! I can't explain! Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things. Objects. With my mind. Oh, a superpower. Really? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally. 
I'm gonna be um, Super Wolf. Pretty sure that one's taken. Not the name. What's but... your super name, Sean? I... I don't need a super name. I'm already awesome. Aw, come on. We're gonna call you super lame if you don't want to choose. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean, No! We could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. With what money? Well, they'll worry if we leave the house. And remember, you still have to get better, Daniel. Sean, come on. Why do you always have to be a party pooper? We the are on the run! Days. We won't be gone for long. The market's only a few miles away. Anyway, they'll be at the service for at least another hour. Yeah, Sean. I can show Daniel around. You can come with us. Please say yes. Please. 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 <sighs> okay. No! Um, I would have kept pushing! Not a fair fight. You don't have a choice. So let's go. <laughs> yes! Yeah! See? Stupid, Dangerous. Because I wouldn't have went. I would not have went. Okay, team. Uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Oh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spear's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. Okay, so I, of course, have no idea. But if I would have played the game, I would have known, I guess. All right, so let's let's try to let's try to figure that this bear right here. The bad this guy guys, looks like a villain. The good guys. Uh, Not that the easy, dino. right? I don't know, man. This warrior. Uh, I want to say this dude's a villain. Look I want to say closely. this dino's a hero. I want to say this pirate's a hero. The insectoid, insectoid or whatever, they're heroes, and this is a hero. Careful. It may be Okay. How did I do? You're not a very good observer. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the ah. good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer. But he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. <sighs> yeah, about that. Um, does your you gotta dad find know out if his dad know about, about it, any of this. That's just another person. Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Chris, it's 
none of my business, but... Are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know, um... <laughs> Claire it seems to our business. be worried about you guys. Claire's always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Chris, I know life can get pretty tough. Trust me. But you'll be okay. You're an awesome kid. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power, and I have Daniel. Sorry, the water eater is still broken. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip, don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad, let's roll. I am completely against this, by the way. I really would prefer jacket? to stay home and not risk I don't want getting you another cold. No, I'm good, thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. I hate Daniel, not gonna lie, because this dude's just going- We told him not to show his powers! What's he do the next morning? Go over to the neighbor's kids and like, Hey, you got powers! Ooh, and trick that little dude. Now he thinks he got powers and he doesn't. We'll figure out how we deal with this in the next episode. So be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification button so you know when that episode drops. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.